Hey everyone, Rick Stoll here with Digital Trends, and we're here at CES Unveiled taking a look at the Pico Brew Home Brew System. I'm here with CEO Bill Mitchell. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the system and your guys' new freestyle recipes? Yeah, so what we have over here is the Pico, which we introduced about a year ago. Just really started shipping these right before CES. So we're really excited to be able to fill these out at Best Buy and Amazon and all the, all the channel you'd expect to buy these at. Um, and we're taking the next step now. We have over 150 craft breweries working on recipes. We've got over 50 different recipes on brewmarketplace.com. Okay. But now, if you're a craft brew lover and you want to take the next step and make truly custom beer, we can accommodate you. What we have here is what we call freestyle. And this is the freestyle editor. You go online and you can actually start with uh, a known good recipe um, in any of the major popular styles, IPA, pale ale, stout, you name it, and actually start. Uh, yeah, walk us through a little bit here. So I'm going to kneel down so you can kind of see this. Uh, so I'll start with an IPA. What you can do is drag and drop grains into a virtual Pico pack and, uh, and make this beer totally custom. So this right now, um, the default recipe gives me about 6.5% alcohol by volume. Now if I wanted to make more of a session IPA, I could just go ahead and get rid of some of the grain. And that will lower down the alcohol. And you, can and you see, see it changing up here, right? You can see the effect of uh, you know, both the ABV. If I start taking some of the darkening um, grains out of there, it's going to give me a little warning, and then it's going to say, OK, you wanted to do that. Look at how much lighter it is now. Right. I got rid of all the grains that really gave it a lot of dark color. I can do the converse, too. I can start throwing in, you know, I'm going to make this more of a chocolate colored beer. So every time it warns you that you're changing the entire construct of the beer, correct? Yeah. You're really going outside, but go ahead and color outside of the lines if that's what you want to do. And uh, you can do that on hops as well, and that's that's really my favorite thing to do. Uh, so this is a fairly bitter beer at 72 IBUs. If you wanted to crank it down, just get rid of some of those bittering hops, and you're going to take this thing right down into the oh, right, yeah. low IBU zone. I'm, I'm kind of a hop head, so I want to crank that up. I'm, I'm just going to load it up and see how high I can go. Let's, let's see if I can make this thing 100. Now, there there you go. go, right, yeah. IBUs. That's a hoppy beer right there, yeah. Yeah, and then let's just keep going. We've already got some dry hops in there. I'm not a big fan of Citra. Uh, Citra has its place. I'm going to go I'm gonna load this thing up with, uh, how about some Simcoe and make it a little more, a little more piney and resinous. So I'm loading it up. It's kind of giving me a new description. I can mess around with the uh, the yeast as well. US05 is a pretty pretty clean yeast. I really like that. Uh, so I'm going to stick with that one. When I'm all done, I'll give this thing a name. I'll call it... Uh, And then it says it right here on the bin you get too, right? Yep. And so when they ship this, it'll say that on the bin here when you get it? That's right. And this is a first step. We're actually going to allow people to actually have their custom images on the front. So while they're brewing it, they can say, look at what I'm making. Like kind of create your own crest then, yeah. right? And then yeah. that just pops right into the Pico Brew system, correct? That's correct. And uh, so this will get shipped to you in a couple days. It has an RFID tag on the top. That is matched with the recipe process parameters that you just created. So you slide it into your system. The system knows that certain temperatures and times and fluid flows have to be observed to exactly hit these parameters. Okay. And when you pop it in, about two hours later, you will have brewed that beer. And then how much is typically, when you make this, how much does it typically cost to get one of these brews in? Uh, if you watch, the price changes as you're, as you're adding and subtracting ingredients. So it's very proportional to the ingredients. Okay. Um, so we pass along the cost. Simcoe right now is a little more expensive for us and for most brewers. And sure, the yeah. ones adding to the cost. You stick with commodity hops, for instance, Cascade, the prices are going to be lower. So okay. it's, it's pretty fascinating. It's a great way to learn about brewing, too. And where can you find this and how much is it? Mm. This uh, system is $800 right now. Uh, we're on peekabrew.com, of course, Amazon, Best Buy, Williams-Sonoma. Um, a couple catalogs. We're actually in Bloomingdale's now. Okay, nice. Um, so, starting to get some good distribution. Um, Brew Marketplace is live with these uh, roughly 50 Pico packs already and more every day. And then this uh, this feature, Freestyle, just went live today. Gotcha. So, what kind of breweries can people expect to order beer from? I know you we have Rogue here. Um, I know you guys are, have a few Seattle breweries. Are there any other big name breweries that you have 
yeah, collaborated it's, with? It's starting to get really exciting because uh, we seek out the great award-winning breweries and, and you know, we like to think that they like to work with us too. Right. So uh, recently we worked with Cor uh, Coronado Brewing. Uh, they just did really well at GABF this year. Uh -huh. um, they just introduced their Stingray Pico Pack. Whoops, we we're almost out of battery. <laughs> um, so that was a great recent one. Upslope just joined us from okay. Colorado, and again, they did very well at, at GMBF. Um, so it's, it's starting to become really exciting. Breweries from around the world are contacting us now, and uh, so we're more familiar with the American breweries and you know the contests like GABF. Yeah, right. Uh, but but there are a lot of great award winners from around the world. Barbarian in Lima, Peru, um, does fabulously well on contests down there. Um, most most Americans wouldn't have an opportunity to taste their beer. Right. I say that's a great concept to be able to brew a beer from a place you might not go and enjoy that area's beer. That's and to motivate you to take that beercation. Right. Exactly. So, well, thanks a lot, Bill. This has been the Pico Brew. We're here at CES Unveiled. CEO Bill Mitchell, thank you. My pleasure. Thank Take you, care. Rick.